Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikhail Tal and Georgi Lisitsin. This is a game from the Soviet Union Championship played in 1956. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Lisitsin played c5, Sicilian defense. Hmm, I'm so knowledgeable. I'm Thai. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending and now g6, going for the dragon variation. f4, bishop to e3, going for the Yugoslav attack, is the most played move nowadays. Tal played f4, knight to c6, knight takes knight on c6, if e5, then d takes on e5, knight takes on c6, queen takes on d1, knight takes on d1, b takes on c6, f takes on e5, knight to g4. And black is okay. Tal played knight takes knight on c6, b takes on c6, e5 now, knight to d7, if d takes on e5, Queen takes queen check, king takes queen, f takes on e5. So in the game we have knight to d7, e takes on d6, e takes on d6, bishop to e3, bishop to e7. Lisitsin would like to play bishop to g7, but if bishop to g7 then queen takes on d6. So we have bishop to e7 defending the pawn on d6. Queen to f3, d5, and Tal castled queen side. Bishop to f6. Another option is castling king side, and after g4, bishop to f6. Seems okay for black. Bishop to f6, bishop to d4, and Lisitsin castled king side. h4, rook to b8, queen to f2, rook to b4. Bishop takes on f6. h5 had to wait because of bishop takes on d4. And after rook takes on d4, queen to b6. And after rook to d2, knight to c5. So we have bishop takes on f6, knight takes on f6. a3, queen to b6. The idea, if pawn takes rook, queen takes queen. So, Tal played the queen takes queen, rook takes queen, knight to a4, rook to b7, bishop to d3, knight to h5. 20 moves have been played. And Lisitsin is doing well against Tal. From h to f1. Perhaps knight to c5 is not a bad move. We have rook from h to f1. Rook to e7 f5, g takes on f5, rook from f to e1, rook from f to e8, rook takes rook on e7, rook takes rook. Lisitsin has a good position. Well, so black is a pawn up. But now, Tal changes the gear. What comes next is something that you don't see every day. What would your plan be in this position? What would you do if you had white pieces now? Tal played totally unexpected move. King to d2. Lisitsin was surely surprised to see this. Knight to g3. King to c3. f4. Black is a pawn up and he wants to exchange his light square bishop for white light square bishop. King to d4. What a bold king. Bishop to f5, rook to d2, rook to e6. Perhaps bishop takes on d3 should have been considered. And after c takes on d3, rook to e6. Back to our game. In the game we have rook to e6, Knight to c5, attacking the rook, rook to h6, and now king to e5. Don't laugh. 
This is now normal move. Total. Bishop takes on d3. C takes on d3. Rook takes pawn on h4. Black is two pawns up. King to d6. Rook to h6 check. King to c7. Knight to f5. Ups. Rook to h2 should have been considered. Tending f3. In the game we have knight to f5, king to b7, knight to d4, rook to f2, a5, rook takes pawn on f4, attacking the knight, knight to e6. If knight to c2, then king to b6, knight to e3, king takes pawn on a5 creating a dangerous pass pawn on the A-file. So we have knight to e6, rook to g4, check, king to f8, king takes pawn on c6, knight takes knight on c5, check. Not from the knight, from the rook. King takes knight. The dust has settled. Who is better, white or black? White king is better position than the black king, isn't he? I would say that white is standing better. Rook to e6. King takes pawn on d5. Rook to b6, attacking the pawn on b2. b4, a takes on b4, a takes on b4. White has a passed pawn and active king, and it equals to winning. King to e7, king to c5 attacking the rook, rook to f6, rook to d4, rook to f5, check, king to c6, rook to f6, check, king to c7, rook to f5, rook to e4, check, king to f6, king, king to c6, intending b5, rook to f2, g4, h5, sacrificing the pawn in order to clear the path, for the f pawn. Pawn takes pawn on h5. King to g5, b5, f5, rook to b4, f4, b6, f3, white. Play the move and black resigned. The move is b7. Black resigned. I suppose you would like to see a few more moves. Rook to c2 check. King to d6, f2, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, and black pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Queen to g8 check, king takes pawn on h5, queen to g4 check, king to h6, queen to h4 check, king to g6, rook to g4 check, king to f5, preventing rook to f4 check. And there is checkmate in one. Queen to g5. Checkmate. What a game. And how do you like Tal's bold king in this game? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.